I would rather eat a whole brick of butter before I ate even a tablespoon of refined sugar. But I would rather eat a whole bowl of refined sugar before I eat even a tablespoon of seed oils, industrial polyunsaturated fats. You really want to avoid those. You see, you can mitigate the effects of excessive glucose in your bloodstream, right? Work out, do some training, certain ways you can mitigate an insulin spike, for example. But when you eat poor quality fats, they become part of your body. Each of your cells has a cell membrane surrounding it, and the, the fats that you eat form the structure of that, that cell membrane. Polyunsaturated fats are unstable, so your cell membranes are now unstable. Your skin, for example, is very susceptible to damage when you eat a lot of seed oils. That's why people who eat a lot of processed foods, they get skin damage. They get sunburned, they can't tan. If you eat a lot of saturated fats and animal fats, they are stable, they become part of your cell membranes and your skin, just as an example, is strong and well. I'm in full agreement with Coach Brian here. So let's break down the science to what he's talking about because the numbers are staggering. When it comes to seed oils, we need to understand half-life. Not how long they last on the shelf, but how long they stay in you. Linoleic acid, the main fat in seed oils, has a half-life of 680 days in your fat tissue. That's nearly two and a half years just to clear it out. And to remove 95% takes six years. Now I'm usually the first to say epidemiology is nonsense, and that correlation is not causation. But this isn't that. The 680 day number comes from direct biochemical measurement. Now there is an observational study showing 136% rise in linoleic acid stored in our fat since the 1960s. Now I'm not saying that causes disease, but it shows we're carrying much more of this unstable fat than ever before. And that matters because poofers literally get built into your cell membranes. Now I've spent way more time in the sun these past two years since switching to animal fats. And I haven't burnt once and I highly doubt it's a coincidence. So yeah, a glucose spike is temporary, but seed oils are a six year problem. They're not just calories, they're inflammatory time bombs with a two year fuse. Now the mechanism's clear and the data's there. The only question is, are you clearing it out or still adding to the fire? 